the Antichrist, and a glass of wine. Yea, also, because he transgresseth by wine, he is a proud man, neither keepeth at home, who enlargeth his desire as hell, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations, and heapeth unto him all people. Put not your trust in princes, nor in the Son of Man, in whom there is no help. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. Table of Contents Introduction Chapter 1 The King of Israel Chapter 2 The number 666 in the Old Testament and Dramatotypes Chapter 3 Why Seek His Identity Chapter 4 How the Search Was Conducted Chapter 5 Timeline of Discoveries Chapter 6 The Hitler Factor Chapter 7 The Geography of the Antichrist Chapter 8 The Covenant with Many Chapter 9 The First Seal Chapter 10 The Antichrist and Daniel's 70th Week Chapter 11 the Abomination of Desolation Chapter 12 Harry, RFID and Lion Chapter 13 Spans of Time and Factors Chapter 14 Antichrist, Look to Harry Appendix A, Calculations Appendix B, The Dual Chronology of the Book of Revelation Introduction the Royal Flush The following calculations use ordinal English Dramatra The Ten of Hearts Prince Harry of Wales and Prince Henry of Wales both equal 216 which has the factors 6 times 6 times 6 The Jack of Hearts Prince Harry and Prince Henry both equal 135 the mirror of 135 is 531. If these are added together, it equals 666. There are three calculations that equal 531. Baron, Henry, Charles, Albert, David, Mountbatten, Windsor. Baron, Harry, Charles, Albert, David, Mountbatten, Windsor. And the Duke of Sussex, the son of perdition, False Messiah also equals 531. Baron equals 50. Other words that equal 50 include Snake, Lion and Salem. The Queen of Hearts. Harry, Charles, Albert, David and Henry, Charles, Albert, David both equal 234. And so does False Messiah, False Messiah. The Mirror of 234 is 432. If these are added together, it equals 666. There are six calculations that equal 432. Duke Captain Mountbatten Windsor Spencer. King Captain Mountbatten Windsor Spencer. Duke Israel Mountbatten Windsor Spencer. King Israel Mountbatten Windsor Spencer. Prince Harry, Baron, Mountbatten, Windsor. Prince Henry, Baron, Mountbatten, Windsor. The King of Hearts. 275 equals 666. Also equaling 275 is King Harry Charles Albert David. And King Henry Charles Albert David as well as Duke Harry Charles Albert David and Duke Henry Charles Albert David. The Ace of Hearts. 666 equals 294. 603 score 6 also equals 294. As well as Harry Charles Albert David Wales and Henry Charles Albert David Wales. 
the Joker. 313 equals 600, 3 score and 6. Also equaling 313 is Prince Harry Albert David Spencer, as well as Prince Henry Albert David Spencer. There is much more information in the ebook introduction that can be downloaded for free. There is a link in the description box below. Chapter 1 The King of Israel. Using standard English Dramatra, the phrase of the King of Israel equals 666. This phrase occurs twice in Scripture. The 19 kings of Israel were particularly wicked. Using standard Hebrew Dramatra, the total of all their names equals 3,900. The factors of 3,900 are 300 times 13 and 100 times 39. Both the number 13 and 39 are significant. The number 13 represents rebellion. The number 39 represents failure to complete a test whereas the number 40 represents succeeding in the completion of a test or trial. Instead of using standard Hebrew Dramatra, and this time we will use ordinal English Dramatra for the names of the kings of Israel, we get 1373. If we include the name of Harry or Henry, since they both equal 70 using this Dramatra system, then we get a total of 1,443, which has the factors 13 times 111. Using ordinal English Dramatra, Duke of Sussex equals 169, which has the factors 13 times 13. King of Sussex also equals 169. The number 169 is therefore a concentrated version of the number 13, because it is the square of 13. There is much more information for chapter 1 in the free ebook. The link can be found in the description box below. Chapter 2 The number 666 in the Old Testament and other Dramatra types. Before I show you the calculations using standard Hebrew Dramatra of Prince Harry's name, that equals 666. Let me digress slightly for a moment to show you how big the Dramatra puzzle can be. This chapter builds the foundation for later chapters, so please bear with me. It may surprise you to know there are three expressions of the number 666 found in the Old Testament, and they are as follows. Number 1, 1 Kings chapter 10 verse 14. Number 2, 2nd Chronicles chapter 9 verse 13 and number 3 is Ezra chapter 2 verse 13. So what are the differences? Number 1 is expressed as 660 and 6. Number 2 is expressed as 660 and 6. And number 3 is 660 and 6 which has a masculine form. The masculine form is determined by the Hebrew letter He, placed at the end of the Hebrew word, as can be seen by the green glow behind this letter. It should be noted that Hebrew is written from right to left. The Hebrew letter Vav, which is shown by the red glow, acts as a conjunctive and is therefore represented by the word and in English. It should also be noted that normally a hay suffix actually gives the word a feminine form. If we remove the Hebrew letter hay, then the number will have a feminine form. If we also remove the Hebrew letter vav, then we will have a fourth expression of the number that does not have any conjunctives or combining words. That is, 666. The basis for doing this can be understood by the difference between 1 Kings chapter 10 verse 14 and 2 Chronicles chapter 9 verse 13, since the latter has two ands and the former only one. 
So why not have an expression with no ands and no conjunctives? This then means there is a total of six different combinations. A masculine and feminine form with two ands, a masculine and feminine form with one and, and a masculine and feminine form with no ands. Here is what those six combinations look like in Hebrew with their standard Hebrew Dramatra values alongside to the right. Of particular interest is the value 2303 which comes from 1 Kings chapter 10 verse 14. In English the number is 660 and 6 and doesn't have a masculine form. The reason it is of interest is because of the following calculation that equals double 2303. The following list is a composition of the beast kingdom using standard Hebrew Dramatra. Babylon equals 34, gold equals 14, media Persia equals 399, silver equals 160, Greece equals 66, brass equals 127, Rome equals 247, Iron equals 239, Europa equals 302, Clay equals 268, United Kingdom equals 604, Lion equals 216, Russia equals 281, Bear equals 12, Sunni Islam equals 265, Leopard equals 290, China equals 120, Dragon equals 360, and finally, and Jerusalem equals 602. The total of all these numbers is 4,606, which is exactly double 2,303, the value that we had for 666. This is not the only list that equals a double of 666. Using ordinal English Dramatra, Babylon equals 71, Gold equals 38, Media Persia equals 100, Silver equals 85, Greece equals 43, Brass equals 59, Rome equals 51, Iron equals 56, Europa equals 76, Clay equals 41, Devil equals 52, and the subtotal for this list so far is 672, six more than 666. The second half of the list is as follows. United Kingdom, 146. Lion, 50. Russia equals 87. Bear equals 26. Sunni Islam equals 131. Leopard equals 71. China equals 35. Dragon equals 59. And Satan equals 55. The subtotal for this second list is 660, which is 6 less than 666. If we add the two subtotals together, we get 1332, which is twice the value for 666. It would seem, then, that the Beast Kingdom is twice the number 666, since we have now found two instances. Please note that the first list I gave in Hebrew composed the beast kingdom and the harlot, whereas the second list did not compose the harlot, that is Jerusalem. It should also be noted that Satan and devil was added to the list for the English list when compared to the Hebrew list. For more details in regards to the beast kingdom and the countries that compose that kingdom, please refer to my video linked in the description box below at this time interval in this video. Now let me explain the numbering systems for the following six Hebrew Dramatra systems. First of all, Ordinal Hebrew Dramatra. With Ordinal Hebrew Dramatra, 
each letter is assigned a number in accordance with its position in the Hebrew alphabet, or alephbet. This means that aleph has a value of 1, and tav, which is the 22nd letter, has a value of 22, because there is 22 letters in the Hebrew alephbet. With standard Hebrew gematra, or numerical Hebrew gematra, each letter is assigned a number in accordance with achieving a numbering set. This means that Aleph has a value of 1, and each letter is increased by a value of 1 until we get to double digits with the letter Yod. After double digits are reached, each letter is incremented by a value of 10 until triple digits are reached. After triple digits are reached, each letter is incremented by a value of 100 until we get to the last letter, Tav, which has a value of 400. The next Dramatra system is Acrophonic Ordinal Hebrew Dramatra. Using this Dramatra system, the numbers that are generated come from the spelling of each Hebrew letter. For example, the letter Aleph is spelt with a Aleph, a Lamed, and a Pei. Pei also has a F sound. So Aleph has a value of 1, Lamed has a value of 12, and Pei has a value of 17, because we are using ordinal Hebrew Dramatra values. The total for 1, 12, and 17 is 30. This means that the letter Aleph has a value of 30. With acrophonic standard Hebrew Dramatra, instead of using ordinal values, we use standard or numerical Hebrew Dramatra values. This means that Aleph has a value of 1, Lamed has a value of 30, and Pei has a value of 80. The total of the numbers 1, 30, and 80 is 111. This means that Aleph has a value of 111 using acrophonic standard Hebrew Dramatra. The next system is Phonic Hebrew Dramatra, which is based on the ordinal English or standard English values rather than the Hebrew values, which means we have to use the English spelling for each letter. The English spelling is based on the Unicode spelling for each Hebrew letter, which means that Aleph is spelt with an F rather than a PH at the end. Using ordinal values, Aleph has a value of 24. Since A has a value of 1, Al has a value of 12, E has a value of 5, and F has a value of 6. 1 plus 12 plus 5 plus 6 equals 24. Using standard English values, Aleph has a value of 42. Since A has a value of 1, Al has a value of 30, E has a value of 5, and F has a value of 6. 1 plus 30 plus 5 plus 6 equals 42. Using the masculine form of the Hebrew number 666, and using the phonic Hebrew ordinal English Dramatra numbering system, the Hebrew letters have a value of 531. The mirror of 531 is 135. When we add these two numbers together, we get 666. Also equaling 531 is Prince Harry's name in Hebrew, namely Harry Charles Albert David. The Dramatra system where it equals 531 is acrophonic ordinal Hebrew Dramatra. There is more information for Chapter 2 in the free ebook. The link can be found in the description box below. Chapter 3 Why Seek His Identity? Proverbs chapter 25, verse 2 It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search out a matter. I began my search for the false Messiah in August 2013 after hearing many reports that Barack Obama was the Antichrist. I was weary at the fact that many of such accusations did not have a calculation to support this claim. I am not saying that such labelling was not warranted given how much of the American landscape Obama had malefacted into a globalist agenda 
with his rhetoric both at home and overseas. There is, however, a genuine and palpable concern over individuals who ascertain a handle over local and later worldwide control of majority public opinion without, along the way, making acknowledgement of Christ as Lord and Saviour, since it is a sure sign of an Antichrist. John's first epistle, chapter 2, verse 22. Who is a liar but he that denieth that Jesus is the Christ? He is Antichrist that denieth the Father and the Son. John's first epistle, chapter 4, verse 3. And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. In essence, it is the ability to influence that is of concern, and without the proper acknowledgement of a higher authority. Adolf Hitler certainly obtained such credentials and made himself the highest authority in the land, and later attempted to implement this upon the world. Speaking of the real Antichrist, Daniel chapter 8 verse 24, And his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power, and he shall destroy wonderfully, and shall prosper, and practice, and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people. Much of Christendom do not want to know his identity because they believe they will be raptured or snatched from the earth before he comes to power. This position as not taught nor devised by the Bible is reprehensible and dangerous to say the least. How dare someone tell me not to be concerned when it is our privilege to take the warnings of the Bible seriously? Luke chapter 21 verses 35 and 36 For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verses 1 to 3 now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon shaken in mind, or be troubled, neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter, as from us, as that the day of Christ is at hand. Let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come except there come a falling away first, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. Chapter 4. How the Search Was Conducted The way I conducted this search was to publish 20 videos on the multimedia platform YouTube on my channel Chizza 7, with illustrations of how to perform the necessary calculation on numerous high-profile subjects. The videos with publishing dates are shown here. The first video was named Zuckerberg is not the Antichrist and was published on the 30th of August 2013. The last video was published on the 1st of October 2013. Subjects included Obama, Prince Charles, Prince Hassan, Netanyahu, Ahmadinejad, Abbas, Prince William, Putin, Pope Bergoglio and Recep Tayyip Erdogan. On Saturday the 23rd of August 2014, I received a comment on the first video that said the following. Prince William and Prince Harry's surname is Mountbatten Windsor. When I typed in Harry Mountbatten Windsor into the Google Translator without the hyphen, it generated a Hebrew name that resulted in the value 666 on the Hebrew Dramatra calculator. What do you think of this finding? Please do a video for the name Harry Mountbatten Windsor. Thanks. From YouTube user Mighty Buffoon. This is my reply. Thanks Mighty Buffoon. I was able to duplicate your results. I will do a video shortly. 
This is the sort of collaboration I have been looking for. Viewers trying their own ideas in the calculator. God bless you for sharing. What is also of interest is Daniel chapter 9 verse 26. And after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with a flood, and under the end of the war desolations are determined. Mighty Buffoon replied, At Chisa 7, I appreciate you taking the time to make these videos. Very interesting conversation. I look forward to watching the Harry video. It was exciting to say the least that the candidate was a prince. Compared to what I now know of Prince Harry, back then I literally knew nothing other than he had worn a Nazi uniform and was caught naked in a game of spin the bottle, which was technically strip billiards. I have later found that interest in Prince Harry as the Antichrist was at an all-time high around 2004, according to this Google Trends graph shown here. The first peak is shown at May 2004, and Google Trends does not have records earlier than the 1st of January 2004. After hearing this news from Mighty Buffoon, I decided to do a search on the internet to see if anyone else had made this discovery. It should be noted that Sherry Schreiner has a web page that uses Hebrew equidistant lettering sequencing to determine that Harry is the Antichrist as published on the 8th of February 2003. This was the only other source that I could find at the time that made the claim that Prince Harry was the Antichrist. Chapter 5 Timeline of Discoveries So Harry Mountbatten Windsor in Hebrew does indeed equal 666 and Mountbatten Windsor is indeed the surname of the royal family. Quote Mountbatten Windsor is the personal surname used by some of the male line descendants of Queen Elizabeth II and Prince Philip, Duke of Edinburgh, under a declaration made in Privy Council in 1960. The name Mountbatten Windsor applies to male line descendants of the Queen without royal styles and titles. Individuals with royal styles do not usually use a surname, but some descendants of the Queen with royal styles have used Mountbatten Windsor when a surname was required. Source Wikipedia Quote, The British monarchy asserts that the name Mountbatten Windsor is used by members of the royal family who do not have a surname when a surname is required. For example, Prince Andrew, Duke of York, and Anne, Princess Royal, children of the Queen, use the surname Mountbatten Windsor in official marriage registry entries in 1986 and 1973 respectively. Likewise, Prince William, Duke of Cambridge, used the name when filing a French lawsuit related to the pictures of his topless wife published by the French magazine Closer, source Wikipedia, using standard Hebrew Dramatra for the name Harry Mountbatten Windsor. Hay equals 5, Aleph equals 1, Reish equals 200, and Yod equals 10. This is the name Harry spelled out in Hebrew and equals 216, the factors of which are 6 times 6 times 6. Mem equals 40, Aleph equals 1, Vav equals 6, Nun equals 50, Tet equals 9, Bet equals 2, Tet equals 9, and final form Nun equals 50. This is the name Mountbatten spelled out in Hebrew and equals 167. Vav equals 6, Yod equals 10, Nun equals 50, Dalit equals 4, Zion equals 7, Vav equals 6, and Reish equals 200. This is the name Windsor spelled out in Hebrew and totals 283. If we now add together the name Harry Mountbatten Windsor in Hebrew, which is 216, 167, and 283, 
If we add these numbers together, we get 666. Days prior to Saturday the 17th of January 2015, I, through various wanderings over Prince Harry's details on Wikipedia, decided to try Harry Spencer in the Hebrew calculator. I would like to make note at this point that the online calculator we were using at the time has since shut down. I had before that time, and now since that time, made an Excel spreadsheet that now has 25 built-in calculators, which is available in the description box below. Spencer is of course Harry's mother's maiden name. The royal precedent for the usage of a maternal surname comes from Prince Philip, Harry's grandfather. Quote, After the war, Philip was granted permission by George VI to marry Elizabeth. Before the official announcement of their engagement in July 1947, he abandoned his Greek and Danish royal titles and became a naturalised British subject, adopting the surname Mountbatten from his maternal grandparents. Source, Wikipedia. Using standard Hebrew Dramatra, Harry Spencer equals 666. Semek equals 60. Pei equals 80. Nun equals 50, Samech equals 60, and Reish equals 200. This is the name Spencer, spelled out in Hebrew, the total of which is 450. If we add Harry's name to this, which is 216, we get 666. When I informed Brian, that is Mighty Buffoon, about Harry Spencer equaling 666, he then later reported within hours that he had discovered Prince Henry Albert David equals 666 and that Harry equals 216, which has the factors 6 times 6 times 6 using standard Hebrew Dramatra. Hay has a value of 5, Nun has a value of 50, Semek has a value of 60, Yud has a value of 10, and final form cuff has a value of 20. This is the Hebrew spelling for the Hebrew word for prince. If we total the value of these letters together, we get a subtotal of 145. Hay has a value of 5, Nun has a value of 50, Reish has a value of 200, and Yud has a value of 10. This is the Hebrew spelling for the name Henry. If we total the value of these letters, we get a subtotal of 265. Aleph has a value of 1, Lamed has a value of 30, Bet has a value of 2, Reish has a value of 200, and Tet has a value of 9. This is the Hebrew spelling for the name Albert. If we total the value of these letters, we get a subtotal of 242. Dalit has a value of 4, Vav has a value of 6, and Dalit has a value of 4. This is the Hebrew spelling for the name David. If we total the value of these letters, we get a subtotal of 14. If we now add together the subtotals, which were 145, 265, 242, and 14, we get a total of 666. The curious thing with this calculation was the absence of the name Charles. However, it made complete sense knowing that a calculation already existed for the name Charles. Prince Charles of Wales equals 666 using what I have called Standard English Dramatra Binary. In this system, the letters that exist after the 22nd letter have a value of zero. The basis for this is that there are only 22 letters in the Hebrew alphabet, and that should then be reflected with any system using the English alphabet. According to Tim Cohen, the author of the book The Antichrist and a Cup of Tea, this system was devised by Monty Judah in 1987, and the application to Charles' title, according to Tim, discovered also in 1987. Source, The Antichrist and a Cup of Tea, page 58, subscript 1. 
Because Prince Harry is also a Prince of Wales, and because one of his names happens to be Charles, I believe that the calculation applies to both father and son. While we are on this topic, another name of Charles, this time using standard Hebrew Dramatra, also equals 666. It should be noted that the spelling for Prince does not have the prefix hey in front of it, which means the. It should also be noted that the prefix mem means from or of in the word Wales. Remember, Hebrew is written from right to left. I would like to continue describing the timeline in which these discoveries were made. YouTube user Picatrix333, name unknown, Inform me on the 18th of August 2015 that King Harry and King Henry both equaled 666 using English Dramatra base 6, where A equals 6 with increments of 6 for each letter up until the last letter Z, which equals 156. This meant that we had at the time a total of 7 names of Prince Harry's that equaled or referenced the number 666. I decided to do a video documenting this on the 17th of December 2015. A link to this video can be found in the description box below. It should be noted that this list of seven names excludes the Hebrew version of Prince Charles of Wales, since this was communicated to me at a later date by Joachim Ariscog and is found on page 58 of Tim Cohen's book. On Thursday the 12th of May 2016, which was the last day of the Orlando Invictus Games, YouTube user Truly Deeply, whose name is Jamie, reported on my Prince Harry 666 channel using Ordinal English Dramatra that Prince Harry of Wales equals 216, which has the factors 6 times 6 times 6. The following day, I discovered that Prince Henry of Wales also equaled 216 using the same Dramatra system and added it to the Dramatrix.org database. Jamie also reported the same day that Harry Charles Albert David and that Henry Charles Albert David both equaled 234 using Ordinal English Dramatra. The significance of 234, as I have previously mentioned, is that its mirror, 432, when combined, totals 666. The mirror quality is spoken of in the middle of the following excerpt of Revelation chapter 17, verse 8, that says, That was, and is not, and yet is, and translates in a formula sense to source plus mirror equals fullness, where mirror is equal to the and is not component. On Thursday the 9th of June 2016, Twitter user wisecapital.pat.pend, John, reported on my Rapture Pentecost 2021 account that Harry A. David and Henry A. David totaled 666 using English Dramatra Base 6, bringing the total number of names that totaled or referenced 666 to 13. This combination is the second witness to the Prince Henry Albert David combination discovered back in January 2015. On Tuesday the 14th of June 2016, YouTube user Joachim Ariscog reported on my Prince Harry 666 channel that 666 totaled 275 using Ordinal English Dramatra and that 275 is a peculiar number whose combinations, which are as follows, 2 times 7 times 5 equals 70, 2 times 75 equals 150, and 27 times 5 equals 135, which match the ordinal English Dramatra for Harry, Harry Spencer, and Prince Harry, respectively. After I indirectly referred him to John's find, he then reported that Harry A. Mountbatten and that Prince Harry A. Spencer both totaled 216 using Ordinal English Dramatra, which has the factors 6 times 6 times 6. 
The same day, Joachim also reported that Harry Lucifer totaled 1,332, which, as previously mentioned, is a double of 666, using standard English Dramatra. On the following Wednesday, Joachim later reported that King Henry Charles Albert David totaled 275, which also means that King Harry Charles Albert David totals 275. Thursday night, I realised I had missed documenting Henry A. Mountbatten and Prince Henry A. Spencer. The following Tuesday, I realised that 2 times 7 times 5 equals 70, and 2 times 75 equals 150, and 27 times 5 equals 135. Also match the ordinal English Dramatra for Henry, Henry Spencer, and Prince Henry, respectively. This makes the total number of names that totaled or referenced the number 666 to 26, and the odds of it being an accident, one in a quinvingentillion, that is, one followed by 78 zeros, the basis of which odds are documented in my video How to Calculate the Number of the Beast and the Odds. A link for this video can be found in the description box below. Here is the list at this point in the timeline. Note, text is color-coded to represent Gematra types. It should be noted that number 27 in the list, which is Henry Lucifer, equals 1296, which has the factors 6 times 6 times 6 times 6. The last two entries, 28 and 29, that is Harry Lucifer and Henry Lucifer, both equal 72 which has the factors 2 times 6 times 6, which is the same Dramatra value for Prince Harry and Prince Henry using Latin Dramatra. Latin Dramatra, or single-digit Dramatra, is where A equals 1, with increments of 1 to each letter. Before reaching double digits, the system resets to the number 1. Chapter 6. The Hitler Factor The Last Man on Earth to completely dominate the landscape when it came to being an antichrist was Adolf Hitler. Using Latin Gematra, Adolf Hitler equals 56, and so does Antichristos. The spelling for antichrist is as per Strong's Greek 500. Using ordinal English Gematra, antichrist equals 121, and so does King Spencer, Duke Spencer, and David of Wales. Using standard Hebrew Gematra, Adolf equals 121. Using ordinal Hebrew Gematra, Satan also equals 121. It should be noted that Satan is normally spelt with a shin, a tet, and a nun. This spelling, however, is an English transliteration that uses a semech, a Aleph, a Tet, and another Aleph, and a Nun. The number 121 is a concentrated form of the number 11 because it is the square of the number 11. By some accounts, the number 11 represents chaos in Scripture. Quote, if 10 is the number which marks the perfection of divine order, then 11 is an addition to it, subversive of and undoing that order. If 12 is the number which marks the perfection of divine government, then 11 falls short of it, so that whether we regard it as being 10 plus 1 or 12 minus 1, it is the number which marks disorder, disorganization, imperfection and disintegration. Source... E. W. Bullinger from his book Number in Scripture, page 236. As we shall later see with chapter 8, the number 72 is altogether significant, curious, and relevant. Firstly, 72 has the factors 6 times 6 times 2. Using Latin Dramatra, 72 equals Prince Harry, as well as Prince Henry, as well as stigma, 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 which is the Greek letter that represents the number 6. The number 36, which is exactly half of 72, equals Hitler, 
also using Latin gematra. I believe what is inferred here is that between Harry and Hitler, the former is the greater and the latter the lesser when it comes to the Antichrist. Prince Harry will exceed Adolf Hitler by a factor of two. In other words, he will be twice as bad. I would like to point out that when making such comparisons, it is necessary that the same Gematra system be used for each of the names. Using ordinal English Gematra, the number 72 also equals Hitler. And using the same Gematra system, the words Mark of the Beast equals 144, which is exactly twice that of 72. I believe what is inferred here is that Adolf Hitler was only able to do half as much as what was necessary to implement the Mark of the Beast. Hitler forced prisoners in the concentration camps to have numbers tattooed on their arms. It is believed that Prince Harry, via the directions of the second beast seen in Revelation chapter 13, will impose an RFID device upon adherents, hands or head. At this point I would like to remind you that using standard Hebrew Gematra, Harry in Hebrew equals 216, which has the factors 6 times 6 times 6. Further, using ordinal Hebrew Gematra, Harry in Hebrew equals 36, which has the factors 6 times 6. Also using ordinal Hebrew Gematra, the word Führer equals 72, which as previously spoken has the factors 6 times 6 times 2. Some may counter-argue that Adolf is here seen as being twice as bad as Harry, but I would interject that Führer, which is German for leader or guide, is separate from his actual name, Adolf Hitler. In this light, Prince Harry will also be a leader or guide or Führer. The inferences being made via magnitude of number does have its limitations, but none so here at this moment. One last reference to the number 72 can be seen here using ordinal Greek gematra. The word beast in Greek equals 72. Using ordinal English gematra, Führer Adolf Hitler equals 186. And using standard English gematra, Prince Harry equals 1116. The factors of the number 186 is 6 times 31. The factors of 1116 are 6 times 186, as well as 6 times 6 times 31. This is amazing. It would also appear that the number 1116 could be segregated into 111 and 6, and thus multiplied to equal 666. The foundational reason for such an exploit is only visually apparent, but an identical pair using Jewish Old English Dramatra, which I will discuss later, can also be seen with the number 1666. Using standard English Dramatra, of Adolf Führer equals 666. Using ordinal English Dramatra, of Adolf Führer equals 135, and so does Prince Harry and Prince Henry using the same Dramatra system. Using Latin Dramatra, of Adolf Führer equals 72, and so does Prince Harry and Prince Henry using the same Dramatra system. Definition of preposition 1. Expressing the relationship between a part and a whole. 2. Expressing the relationship between a scale or measure and a value. Prince Harry, according to these calculations, will be committing acts that are of Adolf Hitler. Using standard English Dramatra, Hitler equals 342. And using ordinal English Dramatra, both Harry and Henry Charles Albert David equal 234. As already mentioned, the number 234 and its mirror equals 666. 
Not only that, but the number 234 is composed of the numbers 216 and 18. As we have already discussed, the number 216 is composed of the factors 6 times 6 times 6. And 18 is composed of the numbers 6 plus 6 plus 6. The number 234 also has the factors 39 times 6, which are both imperfect numbers. Using Latin Dramatra, both Harry and Henry Charles Albert David equal 108. 108 plus 234 equals 342, which has the factors 6 times 57. 342 was the Dramatra value for Hitler. The number 108 also has the factors 18 times 6, which could be expressed as 6 plus 6 plus 6 parentheses times 6. This is amazing. It is also worth noting at this point that using standard English Dramatra, Harry Charles Albert David equals 1872, which has the factors 6 times 6 times 52, and Henry Charles Albert David equals 1836, which has the factors 6 times 6 times 51. This is amazing. It is amazing that there are so many names of Prince Harry's that equals a number that is a multiple of the number 6. Using Jewish Old English Dramatra, Henry Charles Albert David equals 1,666. This pairs with 1116 spoken of earlier, which is the Dramatra for Prince Harry using standard English Dramatra or numerical Dramatra. The values for Jewish Old English Dramatra are as follows. It should be noted that the letter J equals 600, the letter V equals 700, and the letter W equals 900. Dramatrix.org calls this Jewish Dramatra, and I have been calling it Jewish Old English Dramatra, since it orders the letters J, V, and W, which entered the alphabet after 1630 AD, and adds their values based on the timing of their entry, rather than their existent order in the English alphabet. I believe that ampersand, the 27th letter, would have had the value of 800, which is why there is no value shown for 800, and why W has a value of 900. Dramatrix.org does not actually explain this. I have had to deduce the information. Using Jewish Old English Dramatra, Prince Harry equals 766. Using the same Dramatra system, Adolf Hitler, Mein Führer, also equals 766. Mein Führer means my leader, also equaling 766, but this time using standard English Dramatra, is the phrase that comes from scripture, number of his name. Using ordinal English Dramatra, Mein Führer equals 117. This means that Mein Führer, Mein Führer equals 234, which is the same value for Harry and Henry Charles Albert David using ordinal English Dramatra. Using all eight Hebrew forms of Dramatra, Henry Charles Albert David equals 11,778. Using all eight English forms of Dramatra, Führer Hitler equals 11,778. Here is the breakdown for Prince Harry's name using Hebrew Dramatra. Number 1. Standard Hebrew Dramatra value is 902. Ordinal Hebrew Dramatra value is 173. Final form Standard Hebrew Dramatra is 902. Final form Ordinal Hebrew Dramatra is 173. Acrophonic Standard Hebrew Dramatra is 3,967. Acrophonic Ordinal Hebrew Dramatra is 565. Phonic Standard Hebrew Dramatra is 4,411. And Phonic Ordinal Hebrew Dramatra is 685. The total of all these numbers is 11,778. 
I will explain final form Hebrew Gematra in a moment. The breakdown for Führer Hitler looks like this. Using standard English Gematra, it is 841. Using ordinal English Gematra, it is 148. Using Jewish Old English Gematra, it is 601. Using Base 6 English Gematra, it is 888. Using Standard English Gematra Binary, it is 841. Using Latin Gematra, it is 76. Using Cardinal Standard English Gematra, it is 7553. And using Cardinal Ordinal English Gematra, it is 830. The total of all these numbers is 11,778. The factors for 11,778 are as follows. 39 times 302, 13 times 906, and 6 times 1963. The meaning of these numbers can be seen in this list, where 39 represents the failure of a test, 13 represents rebellion and sin, and 6 represents imperfection and the number of man. With final form Hebrew Gematra, the five Hebrew letters Kaf, Mem, Nun, Pei, and Tasadi that have an altered form when placed at the end of a word continue the numbers after the last letter Tav to represent 500, 600, 700, 800, and 900 respectively for final form standard Hebrew Gematra and the numbers 23, 24, 25, 26 and 27 for final form ordinal Hebrew Gematra. Cardinal Standard English Gematra and Cardinal Ordinal English Gematra utilize the spelling of each number and then convert the respective letters into each ordinal or standard values. This means, for example, that the cardinal number 1 has a value of 34. Since the number 1 is spelt with an O and has a value of 15, an N and that has a value of 14, and an E which has a value of 5. If we add these numbers together, 15, 14 and 5, we get 34. So the cardinal ordinal English Dramatra value for the letter A is 34 and the cardinal standard English Dramatra value for the letter A is 115. Once again the spelling for one is O which has a value of 60 using standard English Dramatra, N has a value of 50 and E has a value of 5. If we add 60, 50 and 5 we get 115. So the cardinal standard English Dramatra for the letter A is 115. We repeat this process for the spelling for each number until we get to the number 26, which represents the letter Z. Next we will look at some of the shared experiences that Prince Harry and Adolf Hitler have in common. Both Prince Harry and Adolf Hitler have had uninvited kisses from members of the public. For Adolf Hitler, it was the American Carla de Vries at the 1936 Berlin Olympics. For Prince Harry, it was the Australian Victoria McRae at the Sydney Opera House in 2015. Both Adolf and Harry's favourite car is the Mercedes-Benz. The reason for Hitler liking this make is because it is a German-made car. And for Harry, because his mother drove a Mercedes. Harry also hired a Mercedes-Benz for his arrival to his wedding in 2018. Both Hitler and Harry have been seen idolising Formula One sports cars. Both Hitler and Harry have served in the military, with Harry reaching the rank of Major and Hitler the rank of Gefreiter, which is the second rank to which a soldier could be promoted in the German army, whilst Major is the fourth rank to which a cadet could be promoted in the British army. Once again, Harry is twice that of Hitler in terms of magnitude and achievement. Both Hitler and Harry have used sport as a launching platform to promote not just their respective countries, but themselves also. 
For Hitler, it was the 1936 Berlin Olympic Games. And for Harry, it has been the Invictus Games, now in its fifth year with the 2020 Hague Invictus Games. Hitler has been famously pictured giving a book to a little girl. Likewise, Harry purchased the first edition Winnie the Pooh book at a cost of £8,000 as a gift for his nephew Lewis's christening. Both Harry and Hitler have done meet and greets with young children both in civilian and military wear. Both Hitler and the Antichrist to come seek world domination. Please note that children's faces have been blurred to protect their identities and to meet with YouTube community guidelines. There is more information for Chapter 6 in the free ebook. The link can be found in the description box below. Chapter 7 The Geography of the Antichrist Where you came from and where you are going are two very important aspects of life. Where did we come from? Isaiah chapter 51 verse 1 Hearken to me, ye that follow after righteousness, ye that seek the Lord. Look unto the rock whence ye are hewn, and to the hole of the pit whence ye are digged. When I say we, I am talking about Christians, because not everyone can have this testimony of having come from the rock. The rock of ages is Jesus Christ. Daniel chapter 2 verse 35 Then was the iron, the clay, the brass, the silver, and the gold broken to pieces together and became like the chaff of the summer threshing floors. And the wind carried them away that no place was found for them and the stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. First Peter chapter two verse eight. And a stone of stumbling, and a rock of offence, even to them which stumble at the word, being disobedient, whereunto also they were appointed. Psalm one hundred and eighteen verse twenty two. The stone which the builders refused is become the headstone of the corner. Matthew chapter twenty one verse forty two. Jesus saith unto them, Did ye never read in the Scriptures? The stone which the builders rejected, the same is become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvellous in our eyes. John chapter 8 verse 58 Jesus said unto them, Verily, verily, I say unto you, Before Abraham was, I am. If the Scripture says that he is a rock, a stone, and a mountain, and that before time memorial he existed, then we can extrapolate that he is the rock of ages, even though the scripture does not specifically say that. Aside from coming from the rock, the scripture also states that we as the followers of Christ are clay that are being molded and shaped. Isaiah chapter 45 verse 9 Woe unto him that striveth with his maker. Let the potsherd strive with the potsherds of the earth. Shall the clay say to him that fashioneth it, What makest thou, or thy work? He hath no hands. Romans chapter 9 verse 21 Hath not the potter power over the clay of the same lump to make one vessel unto honour and another unto dishonour? But someone shall say, What about the vessels of dishonour? Are they not also made of clay also? And indeed they are. As I have already noted in the introduction, with regard to mirrors, the beast is somewhat of a nothing when it comes to where he is going and where he came from. Revelation chapter 17 verse 8 The beast that thou sawest was and is not, and shall ascend out of the bottomless pit, and go into perdition, and they that dwell on the earth shall wonder, whose names were not written in the book of life from the foundation of the world, when they behold the beast that was, and is not, and yet is. Nevertheless, the beast does have form. The beast's number is that of a man. The beast has both the form of a kingdom, that is a government, see Revelation chapter 13 verse 2, and Revelation 16 verse 10, and of a man. 
Revelation chapter 13 verse 18 Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score and six. The scripture prior to the writing of Matthew was somewhat mysterious in how it described where Jesus would come from. Matthew chapter 2 verse 6 And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, art not the least among the princes of Judah? For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Quoting the prophet Micah. Matthew chapter 2 verse 15 And was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt have I called my son. Quoting the prophet Hosea. Matthew chapter 2 verse 23 And he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by the prophets. He shall be called a Nazarene. Quoting the scorned Nazarene prophecy which does not actually exist in Scripture. Jesus came from Bethlehem, Egypt, and Nazareth, and many who thought the Messiah came from one location only would be wrong. And so it is with the Antichrist. He is known as the King of the North, the Roman, and the Greek. How can he be all these things at once? First, let us examine why he has these names. The quintessential book for the Antichrist's identity, beside the book of Revelation, is the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 8 verse 9 and 21. And out of one of them came forth a little horn, which waxed exceeding great toward the south and toward the east and toward the pleasant land. And the rough goat is the king of Grecia, And the great horn that is between his eyes is the first king. It should be noted that Britain is northwest of Israel. It should also be noted that the pleasant land is Israel, which is south and east of Britain. It should also be noted thirdly that this is a dual prophecy, since both Greece and Great Britain are located northwest of Israel. Daniel chapter 9 verse 26 And after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with a flood. And unto the end of the war desolations are determined. It should be noted that people here is referring to the Romans who in 70 AD came to Jerusalem and destroyed the city and tore down the walls of the temple. Daniel chapter 11 verses 40 and 41 And at the time of the end shall the king of the south push at him, and the king of the north shall come against him like a whirlwind, with chariots and with horsemen and with many ships, and he shall enter into the countries and shall overflow and pass over. He shall enter also into the glorious land and many countries shall be overthrown. But these shall escape out of his hand, even Edom and Moab and the chief of the children of Ammon. It should be noted that glorious land here is referring to Israel. Prince Harry is Greek, Roman and from the north. As we have seen with the fulfillment of Jesus' origins, the prophecies are seemingly vague and it was not until Matthew wrote his gospel under the inspiration of the Holy Ghost and not until after Jesus had ascended back to heaven that we had the privilege of knowing what they meant. So too with the origins or the geography of the Antichrist. The crucial thing in determining his identity lays with the calculation, not the geography. All the geography does is back up the calculation. Firstly, the Greek origins are traced through Harry's grandfather, Prince Philip, who formerly held Danish and Greek titles, although according to my knowledge, not actually being Greek in ancestry. Quote, After the war, Philip was granted permission by George VI to marry Elizabeth, 
before the official announcement of their engagement in July 1947, he abandoned his Greek and Danish royal titles and became a naturalised British subject, adopting the surname Mountbatten from his maternal grandparents. Source, Wikipedia. Secondly, the Roman origins, or identity, come through the occupation of Great Britain, namely almost all of England and Wales, and then later for a short period, southern Scotland, by the Roman Empire between 43 and 410 AD. The whole question of citizenship or birthrights arose with the Romans' precepts of either just soli or just sanguinis, which are Latin words that mean the right of the soil or the right of the blood, respectively. It is my understanding that Jus Sanguinis came before Jus Soli, which was introduced through the Edict of Caracalla, otherwise known as the Antonine Constitution, in 212 AD. In the 2nd century, Roman Britain came to be personified as Britannia, who was a woman bearing a shield and trident, and wearing a Greek Corinthian helmet. Britannia was then minted on coins from that time until as recently as 2019 with various different designs. 29% of the English language is derived from Latin, which was the dominant language of the Roman Empire. It should be noted that 29% of the English language was derived from French, 26% from German, and 6% from the Greek language. Essentially what I am saying here is that anyone born and bred in Londinium, which is the city of London, is in effect a Roman constituent, and Prince Harry is certainly that, being born at St Mary's, and until recently living at Kensington Palace. Thirdly, the King of the North aspect can be established through using latitudinal and longitudinal coordinates between London and Camp Bastion. The coordinates for Camp Bastion, where Prince Harry was stationed as a soldier for 20 weeks, are as follows. Camp Bastion, now named Camp Shoreback, is 31.856667 degrees north and 64.220833 degrees east. The notional centre of London is Charing Cross, and its coordinates are as follows. 51.5073 degrees north and 0.12755 degrees west. 51.50 take away 31.85 equals 19.650633. If we divide this number by 2, we get 9.8253165 which is the halfway point. If we add this number to 31.85, we get 41.6819835 degrees north, 0.127 degrees west, plus 64.22 degrees east, equals 64.348383 degrees. It should be noted it is added because one is west and the other is east. 64.348383 divided by 2 is 32.1741915, which is the halfway point. 64.22 take away 32.1741915 equals 32.0466415 degrees east. This location is inside the Black Sea. 41.6819835 degrees north and 32.0466415 degrees east. It is exactly 10.88 kilometres inside the shoreline. The longitude for the Dome of the Rock, which sits atop of the Temple Mount in Israel, is 35.23534 degrees east, just 3.18 degrees different to the location worked out above. It is therefore reasonable to say that this location is north of Israel, also note that according to the Wikipedia entry for cardinal direction, the colour black represents north. What is the relevance of the Black Sea, you may ask? Revelation chapter 13 verse 1 And I stood upon the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast rise up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, 
and upon his heads the name of blasphemy. The Dramatra for Black Sea is as follows. Using ordinal English Dramatra, it is 54, and using Latin Dramatra, it is 18. The Dramatra for CHXS, which is the abbreviation for Chi, Xi, Stigma, which are the Greek letters that represent 660 and 6, respectively, is as follows. Using ordinal English Dramatra, CHXS equals 54, and using Latin Dramatra, it equals 18. It should be noted that 54 has the factors 6 times 9, and it should be noted that 18 has the factors 6 times 3. This is the second witness that the Black Sea is the sea that John is talking about in Revelation chapter 13 verse 1. It should be noted that the eighth king of the Seleucid Empire, which was one of the four Greek empires that split from Alexander the Great's empire in accordance with Daniel's chapter 8 verse 8 and 22 prophecy, was Antiochus IV Epiphanes. It should also be noted that Camp Bastion is within the boundaries of the Seleucid Empire. Antiochus performed a shadow of the abomination of desolation when he set up a statue of Zeus on the altar outside the Hebrew temple and had a pig slaughtered on this same altar. We know this was not the actual abomination because Jesus outlined in his Sermon on the Mount of Olives in Matthew chapter 24 that this prophecy was still yet to be fulfilled. Here is Antiochus's Dramatra. Using ordinal English Dramatra, Antiochus IV Epiphanes equals 234, and using Latin Dramatra, the same name equals 99. Compare this to Prince Harry. Using ordinal English Dramatra, both Harry and Henry Charles Albert David equal 234, and using Latin Dramatra, Prince Harry of Wales and Prince Henry of Wales both equal 99. It should be noted that the term first beast of revelation also equals 99 using Latin Dramatra and using ordinal Hebrew Dramatra the word Antichrist equals 99. It should be noted that the Antichrist is also known by these following titles by association not because he originated from any of their respective locations. The Pharaoh of Egypt inferred by Exodus, the king of Babylon, inferred by Revelation chapter 17 and chapter 18, the Assyrian, inferred by Isaiah. The following calculation uses ordinal Hebrew Dramatra. Harry Charles Albert David equals 160. Mount Batten Windsor equals 135. Prince Harry equals 91. Pharaoh of Egypt equals 165. King of Babylon equals 52. The Assyrian equals 63. If we add all these together, we get 666. It should be noted the Antichrist is also believed to be of Hebrew ancestry based on the following scripture. John chapter 5 verse 43. I am come in my Father's name, and ye receive me not. If another shall come in his own name, him ye will receive. According to legend, Queen Victoria researched her family tree and found she was a descendant of King David. It was then that circumcision began in the royal house and ended with Princess Diana and her two sons. Please refer to chapter 1 for more details as to why the Antichrist has Hebraic roots. Chapter 8 The Covenant with Many Queen Elizabeth addressed the United Nations on the 6th of July 2010. During that speech, she referred to the UN as the United Nations singular on three occasions. It was her second speech at the UN, the first being on the 21st of October 1957. 
She refers to the United Nation instead of United Nations at approximately the 3 minute, 7 minute and 8 minute marks. The fact that she intentionally referred to the United Nations plural as the United Nations singular is very telling as to what the elites think of this organisation and where it's heading. It should be noted that Prince Harry was at the UNICEF headquarters, six kilometres away from the United Nations headquarters, on the 27th of June 2010, just over a week before his grandmother's speech. Daniel chapter 9 verses 26 and 27 And after three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself, and the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with a flood, and unto the end of the war desolations are determined, and he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease, and for the overspreading of abominations he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. It is believed that when Prince Harry was at the Invictus Games Toronto 2017 opening ceremony on the 23rd of September 2017, that he confirmed his covenant with the many who are believed to be the United Nations by wearing an RFID wristband. It should be noted that the 23rd of September 2017 was the day of the Revelation 12 heavenly sign. Because of the dual chronology of the book of Revelation, chapter 6 is the beginning of one timeline and chapter 12 is the beginning of a second timeline, which coincides with the first, with chapters 11 and 19 being the ends of those two timelines respectively. From the 27th of June 2010, when Prince Harry was at the UNICEF headquarters making, I believe, his original covenant, until the 23rd of September 2017, when he confirmed his covenant, there is exactly 2,646 days inclusive. Inclusive means we count both the start date as well as the end date. The factors of 2,646 are 6 times 7 times 7 times 9, which means it also has the factors 49 times 54, as well as 294 times 9. I will speak later in chapter 13 of the significance of factors and spans of time, but suffice to say there has been two significant observations when it comes to factors and spans of time, namely the Blood Moon Tetrad Fulfillment and the Great 2017 Solar Eclipse. Using Ordinal English Dramatra, 294 equals 666, as well as 600 three score 6, as well as Harry or Henry, Charles Albert David Wales. Nine is the number of judgment and finality. Once again, 2,646 equals 294 times nine. Peculiar to say the least. Using Latin Dramatra, 72 equals Prince Harry and Prince Henry, as well as Harry Lucifer and Henry Lucifer, the United Nations, Stigma, 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 Covenant with Many, Invictus Toronto, Wristband Harry, Wristband Henry, NFC the Duke of Sussex, NFC Duke of Sussex Wales, NFC White Horse, NFC RFID Bracelet, where NFC stands for Near Field Communication and RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. Using Standard English Dramatra, Prince Harry equals 1116 and using ordinal English Dramatra Prince Harry equals 135 if we add these together we get 1251 and using standard English Dramatra the United Nations also equals 1251 if we add the total for Prince Harry using Latin Dramatra we get 1188 
the same value for the United Nations using base 6 English Dramatra. Using Latin Dramatra, 146 equals Prince Harry or Prince Henry, Charles Albert David, as well as His Royal Highness the Duke of Sussex. Using Ordinal English Dramatra, 146 equals United Nation. These numbers tell us there is a clear relationship between Prince Harry and the United Nation, or United Nations. Using Jewish Old English Dramatra, UN equals 240, and so does, using Ordinal English Dramatra, the Covenant with Many. Using Standard English Dramatra, 2278 equals a Covenant with Many, and using Ordinal English Dramatra, 208 equals a Covenant with Many. If we add these together, we get 2,486. Using Cardinal Standard English Dramatra, the acronym UN also equals 2,486. Using Jewish Old English Dramatra, 711 equals UN many. It also equals the United Nation. It also equals stigma, stigma, stigma. Please refer to page 75 of the ebook for more information in regards to the number 711. Using Standard English Dramatra, 1116 equals Prince Harry. Using Ordinal English Dramatra, 135 equals Prince Harry. Using Jewish Old English Dramatra, 766 equals Prince Harry. Using Base 6 English Dramatra, 810 equals Prince Harry. Using Standard English Dramatra Binary, 416 equals Prince Harry, and using Latin Dramatra, 72 equals Prince Harry. If we add all these numbers together, we get 3,315. Using Standard English Dramatra, 3,315 equals United Nations Covenant with Many. For many more calculations and much more information, please refer to Chapter 8 of the free ebook. A link for this can be found in the description box below. Chapter 9. The First Seal Revelation chapter 6 verses 1 and 2 and I saw when the Lamb opened one of the seals, and I heard, as it were, the noise of thunder. One of the four beasts sang, Come and see. And I saw, and behold, a white horse, and he that sat on him had a bow, and a crown was given unto him, and he went forth conquering and to conquer. What are we meant to be looking for? Given that the book of Revelation is highly symbolic, obviously not a literal white horse with a rider wearing a crown and holding a bow, the two greatest clues we have for the first seal is the dual chronology of the book of Revelation and quite a number of Gematra calculations. Let me briefly explain the dual chronology before revealing its importance. The book of Revelation has a double timeline which means that the book can be split into two. Chapters 1 to 11 represent one timeline, and chapters 12 to 22 represent another timeline. Further upon closer examination, we can see that Daniel's 70th week is represented by chapters 6 to 11 with one timeline, and chapters 12 to 19 with the second. This means that the following chapters match. Chapter 6, Tribulation. Chapter 12, Tribulation, both in the first half of Daniel's 70th week. Chapter 7, the 144,000 and evidence of the rapture. Chapter 14, the 144,000 and the event of the rapture or harvest, both in the middle of Daniel's 70th week. Chapters 8 and 9 are the six trumpets blown co-sequentially with chapter 16. And chapter 16 are the seven bowls poured out co-sequentially with chapters 8 and 9, both in the second half of Daniel's 70th week. Chapter 11, God's Wrath and Armageddon. Chapter 19, God's Wrath and Armageddon, both in the second half of Daniel's 70th week. 
Chapter 10 is a pause or break to the main events. Chapter 15 is also a pause or a break to the main events, both in the second half of Daniel's 70th week. The dual chronology of the book of Revelation is further detailed in Appendix B of the e-book. A link for this can be found in the description box below. The dual chronology therefore stipulates that the first seal and the Revelation 12 heavenly sign occur on the same day. In other words, Revelation chapter 6 verses 1 and 2 and Revelation chapter 12 verses 1 and 2 occurred on the same day as they are both the exact beginning of the tribulation. Details of the Revelation 12 heavenly sign, which culminated on the 23rd of September 2017, can be seen in my video, The Revelation 12 Heavenly Sign, 14 Pregnancy Points. On Saturday the 23rd of September 2017, the Invictus Games Toronto, Canada were opened. Melania Trump met with Prince Harry, who famously posed with a devil's horn gesture. It is believed that Prince Harry, using the Invictus Games as a platform, has gone forth conquering and to conquer. Conquering what, you may ask? I believe conquering people's hearts. Prince Harry is the rider of the white horse, and that horse is the Invictus Games. Here are some interesting calculations. Using Latin Dramatra, 58 equals white horse, and so does the Duke of Sussex. Using Ordinal English Dramatra, 130 equals white horse, and using Latin Dramatra, 130 equals Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, as well as Prince Henry, the Duke of Sussex. Using Ordinal English Dramatra, 234 equals, and he that sat on him had a bow. It also equals Harry or Henry, Charles Albert David, as well as False Messiah, False Messiah, as well as Invictus Toronto. Using Ordinal English Dramatra, 292 equals Invictus Games, White Horse. Also equaling 292 is the number in words, 234. Using Ordinal English Dramatra, 412 equals he went forth conquering and to conquer. Also equaling 412 is His Royal Highness Prince Harry of Wales, as well as His Royal Highness Prince Henry of Wales. Using Ordinal English Dramatra, Invictus Games equals 162, and using Latin Dramatra, Invictus Games equals 54. If we add these two numbers together, we get 216, which has the factors 6 times 6 times 6. Also equaling 54, using Latin Dramatra, is the term Mark of the Beast. And using Ordinal English Dramatra, the letters CHXS equals 54. Those letters are an abbreviation for the Greek letters Chi, Xi, and Stigma, which represent the numbers 600, 60, and 6. Using Standard English Dramatra, and he that sat on him had a bow, equals 1521. And using Ordinal English Dramatra, the same phrase equals 234. And using Jewish Old English Dramatra, the same phrase equals 1561. If we add these numbers together, we get 3316, which is the same Dramatra value for United Nations, a covenant with many, using Standard English Dramatra. Using Latin Dramatra, 99 equals the phrase, and he that sat on him had a bow. 99 also equals white horse bow crown, as well as Prince Harry of Wales, as well as Prince Henry of Wales, and first beast of Revelation. It should be noted that the number 99 is one short of the perfect number 100. Using Ordinal English Dramatra, 270 equals conquering and to conquer. Also equaling 270 is Prince Harry plus Prince Henry. Using Latin Dramatra, conquering and to conquer equals 117. Also equaling 117 using Ordinal English Dramatra is Invictus, Toronto and False Messiah. Using Standard English Dramatra, 405 equals False Messiah. 
also equaling 405 using ordinal English Dramatra, is United Nations, the Covenant with Many. Using standard English Dramatra, Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, equals 2,716. And using ordinal English Dramatra, it equals 304. And using Jewish Old English Dramatra, it equals 1,816. And using Latin Dramatra, it equals 115. If we total these numbers together, we get 4,951. Amazingly, using Cardinal Standard English Dramatra, False Messiah also equals 4,951. There is a strong connection between the phrase from Revelation chapter 6 verse 2, which says, He went forth conquering and to conquer, and the meaning of the word Invictus. Invictus is Latin for unconquered. It should also be noted that the logo for the Invictus Games utilizes the letters I am. I am is of course the name of God. Exodus chapter 3 verses 13 and 14. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers hath sent me unto you, and they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. The Invictus Games is the white horse from the first seal, and it gets its name from the poem which reads as follows. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole, I thank whatever gods may be for my unconquerable soul. In the foul clutch of circumstance, I have not winced nor cried aloud. Under the bludgeonings of chance, my head is bloody but unbowed. Beyond this place of wrath and tears, looms but the horror of the shade, and yet the menace of the years, finds and shall find me unafraid. It matters not how straight the gate, how charged with punishments the scroll, I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul. Notice that the last line is particularly wicked when compared to scripture, that is, the scroll. Matthew chapter 7 verses 13 and 14. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Hebrews chapter 2 verse 10 For it became him for whom are all things, and by whom are all things, in bringing many sons unto glory, to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 2 Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. The term scroll in the Invictus poem is a reference to the Bible, which was first written upon papyrus scrolls before eventually being printed into a bound book. So what about the imagery used of the bow and the crown? The scripture specifies that the rider of the white horse be given a crown, and thus implies that the bow is already in his possession. If the rider of the white horse has a bow, then what about his arrows? What exactly is the weapon with which he is projecting from his bow? It is interesting that a hypodermic needle with its extremely sharp pointy end could indeed represent an arrow. Further is the speculation that the mark of the beast is an RFID device, which as it happens requires a hypodermic needle to be implanted under the skin. RFID stands for Radio Frequency Identification. It is believed that Prince Harry was microchipped in the forehead just prior to beginning his school life at the private boarding school Eton on the 2nd of September 1998. Judging by the scarring, the chip was inserted via a scalpel. There is a lasting little horn on Prince Harry's forehead as a result. 
If this is the case, then Prince Harry is indeed armed with a bow, since he has already had the experience of being chipped. Using ordinal English Dramatra, 40 equals bow, and so does the name David, which is Prince Harry's last name. Using standard English Dramatra, Prince Harry equals 1116, and using ordinal English Dramatra, it equals 135, and using Latin Dramatra, it equals 72. If we add all these numbers together, we get 1323, which has the factors 7 times 7 times 9 times 3. And using Cardinal Ordinal English Dramatra, Rider of the White Horse also equals 1323. For more information and many more calculations, please refer to Chapter 9 of the e-book. A link for this book can be found in the description box below. Chapter 10, The Antichrist and Daniel's 70th Week Daniel's 70th week is believed to have begun on Yom Teruah, 2017, which was the evening of the 21st of September until the evening of the 22nd of September. Yom is the Hebrew word for day, and Teruah is the Hebrew word that means alarm. It should be noted that a biblical day is from sunset to sunset, or from evening to evening, as per Genesis chapter 1. Daniel's 70th week is believed to end on Yom Kippur 2024, which is from the evening of the 13th to the evening of the 14th of September. From Yom Teruah 2017 until Yom Kippur 2024, there is exactly 2,550 days inclusive. Inclusive means we count both the start date as well as the end date. Both the Feast of Trumpets, that is Teruah, and the Feast of Atonement, that is Kippur, can be found in Leviticus chapter 23. The feasts are known in Hebrew as Moed, which means appointed time. Jesus Christ died on the feast known as Unleavened Bread during the Passover feasts, noted in Leviticus chapter 23 verses 4 to 14. Jesus therefore died at an appointed time. Revelation chapter 13 verse 8 And all that dwell upon the earth shall worship him whose names are not written in the book of life of the Lamb slain from the foundation of the world. Jesus' death was planned from the foundation of the world. The interesting thing about the number 2550 is that it is composed of the numbers 1260 and 1290 which are both found in Scripture. Revelation chapter 12, verse 6, And the woman fled into the wilderness, where she hath a place prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand, two hundred and threescore days. Daniel chapter 12, verse 11, And from the time that the daily sacrifice shall be taken away, and the abomination that maketh desolate set up, there shall be a thousand, two hundred and ninety days. The second witness to these timelines correlating with the gap between Moed or appointed times can be found between Yom Teruah 2017 and Pentecost 2021, which is 1335 days inclusive. This timeline is found in scripture here. Daniel chapter 12 verse 12. Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the thousand three hundred and five and thirty days. Prince Harry was born on the 15th of September 1984 and was 33 years old and one week on Yom Teruah 2017. This is significant in relation to the age of Jesus Christ, who is the true Messiah, who died at the approximate age of 33. I believe the week in excess of 33 years is an echo of Daniel's 70th week. Prince Harry will be one day short of 40 years of age on the day Jesus is believed to return. This is highly significant since 40 is the number in the Bible that represents the completion of a test. Prince Harry, it would appear, fails this test by one day. 
Revelation chapter 19 verse 20 And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophet, that wrought miracles before him, with which he deceived them that had received the mark of the beast, and them that worshipped his image. These both were cast alive into a lake of fire burning with brimstone. We then have two correlations to Daniel's 70th week, one at the beginning and one at the end. The third correlation happens in the middle of the week, near to where the abomination of desolation occurs. It should be noted that using ordinal English Dramatra, 666 equals and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease from Daniel chapter 9 verse 27 part thereof from the day of the revelation 12 heavenly sign which was the 23rd of September 2017 plus 1260 days inclusive lands us on the 5th of March 2021 it is on this day that the abomination of desolation is believed to be set up in the yet-to-be-built Third Temple. It is the day before, the 4th of March, that Prince Harry is believed to have died from suicide via a sword and to have been resurrected. Revelation chapter 13 verse 3 And I saw one of his heads, as it were, wounded to death, and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wondered after the beast. Revelation chapter 13 verse 14 And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. It should be noted that using ordinal English Dramatra, Harry equals 70, as well as Henry, as well as the word suicide, and using Latin Dramatra, Harry equals 34, Henry also equals 34, and the word suicide also equals 34. It should also be noted that the first king of Israel committed suicide via a sword, and the first son of perdition also committed suicide. The third witness is that Adolf Hitler also committed suicide. Refer to chapter 6 for more details in regards to Hitler and the connection to Harry. 1 Chronicles chapter 10 verse 4 Then said Saul to his armour-bearer, Draw thy sword and thrust me through therewith, lest these uncircumcised come and abuse me. But his armour-bearer would not, for he was sore afraid. So Saul took a sword and fell upon it. Matthew chapter 27 verse 5 and he cast down the pieces of silver in the temple, and departed, and went and hanged himself. From the day of Harry's birth until the 4th of March 2021, there is exactly 13,320 days inclusive. The number 13,320 has the factors 666 times 20, and can also be expressed as 6 times 6 times 6 times 60, Parentheses plus parentheses six times sixty. Not only that, but Harry will be thirty-six years and six months approximately, which could be viewed as six times six years, six months. Did you notice this series has a triple six and therefore reflects the number of the beast? To be exact, Harry will be thirty-six years and one hundred and seventy-one days old. The number 171 is an interesting number because it forms a triangle with a base of 18. For example, a triangle with a base of 5 has 15 units as prescribed by the formula B times parentheses B plus 1 parentheses divided by 2. That is 5 times parentheses 5 plus 1 parentheses divided by 2. That is 5 times 6 parentheses divided by 2. That is 30 divided by 2, which equals 15, where B equals the number of units in the base of the triangle. A triangle with a base of 18 has 171 units. If we apply the formula, then we get 18 times parentheses 18 plus 1 parentheses divided by 2, which is 18 times 19 parentheses divided by 2, which is 342 divided by 2, which is the number 171. 
Please note that a triangle with a base of 36 has 666 units. The next interesting thing about the number 171 is that when doubled and added to the number 1332, that is 666 times 2, it equals 1674, which can be expressed as follows. 1674 equals 6 times 6 times 6 parentheses plus 66 times 6 parentheses plus 6 times 66 parentheses plus 666 or it can also be expressed as 171 plus 666 plus 666 plus 171 using standard Hebrew Dramatra Harry Mountbatten Windsor equals 666 and also using standard Hebrew Dramatra Antichrist look to Harry equals 666 using ordinal Hebrew Dramatra Harry Mountbatten Windsor equals 171 and also using ordinal Hebrew Dramatra Antichrist look to Harry equals 171 this is amazing. The very numbers that compose the number 1674, which in turn is a highly saturated number when it comes to the number 6. Note also that using base 6 English Dramatra, 1674 equals Antichrist look to Harry. Here is another interesting calculation using the number 1674. Using standard English Dramatra, Chi, Xi, Stigma equals 986 and using ordinal English Dramatra it equals 122 and using Jewish Old English Dramatra it equals 566. If we add these numbers together we get 1674. As previously spoken, Chi, Xi and Stigma are the Greek letters that represent the numbers 660 and 6 respectively. We now have three points of reference that correlate to Prince Harry's age and Daniel's 70th week, namely his age as a continuation of Jesus Christ's age, 13,320 days in the middle of the week, and 40 years less one day at the end of the week. Once again, 40 in the Bible is a number used to mean a time of testing, trial and probation. To wit, Harry fails. While we are on the subject of Harry's suicide, the following should be noted. Using standard English Dramatra, death by sword equals 1674. And using ordinal English Dramatra, death by sword equals 144, which is the same value for mark of the beast using the same Dramatra system, which has the factors 6 times 6 times 4. Using Latin Dramatra, Death by sword equals 54, and so does Mark of the Beast, and so does Invictus Games. And using ordinal English Dramatra, the letters CHXS equals 54. Those letters are an abbreviation for Chi, Xi, Stigma, which are the Greek letters that represent 660 and 6. Refer to Strong's 5516 on Bible Hub. For more information. 54 has the factors 6 times 9. Using standard English Dramatra, death by sword equals 1674. And using ordinal English Dramatra, it equals 144. And using Latin Dramatra, it equals 54. If we add these together, we get 1872. Using standard English Dramatra, Harry Charles Albert David equals 1872. 1872 has the factors 6 times 6 times 52. Using ordinal English Dramatra, 52 equals devil. Also equaling 52 using ordinal English Dramatra are the initials for Prince Harry's name, that is H-C-A-D-M-W, which represents Henry or Harry Charles Albert David Mountbatten Windsor. Using Latin Dramatra, 52 equals Little Horn, as well as Baron Kilkeel and the Sixth Beast. 52 has the factors 13 times 4. Remember that 13 represents rebellion and 4 represents the world. It is the devil that causes the whole world to rebel. 
using standard English Dramatra, death by sword equals 1674, and using Latin Dramatra, it equals 54. If we add these numbers together, we get 1728, which has the factors 6 times 6 times 6 times 8. It should be noted that the number 8 represents resurrection or new beginnings in scripture. Using standard English Dramatra, first beast of revelation equals 1629, and using Latin Dramatra, it equals 99. If we add these numbers together, we get 1728. Using standard English Dramatra, death by sword equals 1674. And using ordinal English Dramatra, it equals 144. If we add these numbers together, we get 1818. 1818 can be expressed as 6 times 300, parentheses, plus, parentheses, 6 times 3. Using ordinal English Dramatra, the words for the number 135 equals 250, and using cardinal ordinal English Dramatra, it equals 1568. If we add these numbers together, we get 1818. I should remind you that using ordinal English Dramatra, Prince Harry equals 135, as well as Prince Henry. And I should also remind you that the number 135 plus its mirror, 531, equals 666. As a second witness to the number 13,320, it should be noted that the following scriptures equal that same number using standard Hebrew Dramatra. Here is the English text first. Genesis chapter 6 verses 12, 13 and 17. And God looked upon the earth, and behold, it was corrupt. For all flesh had corrupted his way upon the earth. And God said unto Noah, The end of all flesh has come before me, for the earth is filled with violence through them, and behold, I will destroy them with the earth. And verse 17, And behold, I, even I, do bring a flood of waters upon the earth to destroy all flesh, wherein is the breath of life from under heaven, and everything that is in the earth shall die. Here is the Hebrew text for Genesis chapter 6, verse 12, 13, and 17. The standard Hebrew Dramatra for verse 12 is 4,161, and the standard Hebrew Dramatra for verse 13 is 3,697, and the standard Hebrew Dramatra for verse 17 is 5,462. If we add all these numbers up together, we get 13,320, which has the factors 666 times 20, as well as being composed of 6 times 6 times 6 times 60 plus 6 times 60. Noah's flood is particularly significant in respect to what Jesus said in his Sermon on the Mount of Olives. Matthew chapter 24 verses 38 and 39. For as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, until the day that Noah entered into the ark, and knew not until the flood came and took them all away, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Chapter 11. The Abomination of Desolation As specified in chapter 10, the abomination of desolation is believed to occur on the 5th of March 2021, which is 1260 days from the 23rd of September 2017, when the Revelation 12 heavenly sign occurred. It should be noted that the timeline is inclusive, which means we count the start as well as the end date. According to Revelation chapter 13, there is an image of the first beast arranged to be worshipped by the second beast. This self-same image is believed to be the abomination of desolation. Revelation chapter 13 verses 14 and 15 And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth, 
by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth, that they should make an image to the beast, which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. It is believed that this image will be an android robot or cyborg. It should be noted that Prince Harry's exact physical dimensions have already been recorded by Madame Tussaud's Wax Museum and immortalised in wax. It would not be that difficult in the not-too-distant future to have those dimensions downloaded and used to represent an android version of Harry. Here are some interesting calculations to back up this belief. Using ordinal English Dramatra, Prince Harry equals 135, and so does Prince Henry, Android Robot, and Vav Vav Vav, which is the English spelling for the sixth letter of the Hebrew alphabet. And using ordinal English Dramatra, Harry equals 70, as well as Henry, and as well as Cyborg. It should be noted at this juncture that Pope Francis is believed to be the false prophet, otherwise known as the second beast. Using ordinal English Dramatra, Pope Francis equals 122, and Jorge Bergoglio equals 145. Second beast and false prophet equals 267 and Catholic Church equals 132. If we total these numbers together, we get 666. Within this calculation is nestled some other very interesting finds. Using ordinal English Dramatra as previously spoken, Pope Francis equals 122, and so does Chi, Xi, Stigma, which are the Greek letters that represent the numbers 600, 60, and 6, respectively. Using ordinal English Dramatra, the phrase, He spake as a dragon, equals 145, and so does Jorge Bergoglio. If we add together 122 and 145, we get 267, which is the value for second beast and false prophet. Since the second beast sets up an image of the first beast, we could expect a relationship between these two men when using Dramatra calculations, and indeed there is. Using ordinal English Dramatra, Harry equals 70, as well as Henry, Francis, Robot, and Cyborg. Using ordinal English Dramatra, Prince equals 65, and so does Android. Using ordinal English Dramatra, Pope Francis equals 122, and so does Harry Devil and Henry Devil. Using Latin Dramatra, Harry equals 34, and so does Henry, Francis, and Cyborg. Using ordinal English Dramatra, Duke Sussex Android Image equals 248, and so does King Sussex Android Image and so does Abomination of Desolation, and so does False Prophet Second Beast. The Abomination of Desolation is believed to be displayed inside the Third Temple. Matthew chapter 24 verse 15 When ye therefore shall see the Abomination of Desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whoso readeth, let him understand. Mark chapter 13 verse 14 But when ye shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, standing where it ought not, let him that readeth understand, then let them that be in Judea flee to the mountains. Daniel chapter 8 verse 13 Then I heard one saint speaking, and another saint said unto that certain saint which spake, How long shall be the vision concerning the daily sacrifice? and the transgression of desolation, to give both the sanctuary and the host to be trodden underfoot. Daniel chapter 9 verse 27 And he shall confirm the covenant with many for one week, and in the midst of the week he shall cause the sacrifice and the oblation to cease, 
and for the overspreading of abominations, he shall make it desolate, even until the consummation, and that determined shall be poured upon the desolate. Daniel chapter 11 verse 31 And arms shall stand on his part, and they shall pollute the sanctuary of strength, and shall take away the daily sacrifice, and they shall place the abomination that maketh desolate. There is more information for chapter 11 in the free ebook. The link can be found in the description box below. <coughs> chapter 12 Harry RFID Lion As already mentioned in chapter 8, Harry has the following connection to the RFID device. Using ordinal English Dramatra, Prince Harry Charles Albert David equals 299, as well as Prince Henry Charles Albert David, and as well as radio frequency identification. But it goes beyond what is seen in chapter 8 and page 123. The name Harry in Hebrew is spelt with the following Hebrew letters Hay, Aleph, Reish, and Yud. Ancient Hebrew letters began with what is known as pictographs that in turn have certain meanings. The Tetragrammaton YHVH, otherwise known as Yehovah or Yahweh, is spelt with the following Hebrew letters Yud. Hey, Vav, Hey. Strong's reference 3068. The letter Yud represents a hand. The letter Hey represents the statement Behold. The letter Vav represents a nail. Yahweh, that is YHVH, which is the name translated as Lord in the King James Version of the Old Testament, could therefore, when read in the direction of an English reader, say the following behold nail behold hand this is highly significant in relation to jesus christ who was nailed to the cross by his hands wrists are considered to be part of the hands anatomy we know that there was two lords according to this scripture genesis chapter 19 verse 24 then the lord reigned upon sodom and upon gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven. It should be noted that if we read the context from Genesis chapter 18 verse 1 that the first Lord spoken about is on earth. This means that both the Son and the Father are Lord. Another example in regard to pictographs can be seen with Jesus' name seen in the following scriptures. Revelation chapter 1 verse 8 I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is, and which was, and which is to come, the Almighty. Revelation chapter 22 verse 13 I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. It should be noted that Alpha and Omega are the first and last letters of the Greek alphabet. If we apply this scheme to the Hebrew Aleph Bet, then Jesus is the Aleph and the Tav which are the first and last letters of the Hebrew Aleph Bet. These Hebrew letters represent the following. Aleph means leader, ox and strength. Tav represents covenant, mark and sign. This again is highly significant since according to scripture, oxen, that is bullock, were used as a sacrifice for sin. Exodus chapter 29 verse 36 and thou shalt offer every day a bullock for a sin offering for atonement. And thou shalt cleanse the altar when thou hast made an atonement for it. And thou shalt anoint it to sanctify it. Leviticus chapter 4 verse 3. If the priest that is anointed do sin according to the sin of the people, then let him bring for his sin which he hath sinned, a young bullock without blemish unto the Lord for a sin offering. The original pictograph for Tav looks like a cross. The combination, therefore, of the first and last letter of the Hebrew Aleph Bet is a striking one in relation to Christ, who was a sacrifice upon the cross. So what does this have to do with the Hebrew letters for Harry's name, you may ask? Here are the letters again, but this time with the meaning of the original pictographs. Hay 
is behold, lo, and the. Aleph is leader, ox, strength. Raish is head, person, first. Yud is hand and arm, work and deed. What does this mean? Here it is in a sentence. Behold, leader, first, person, deed, hand. I believe in context the name Harry using Hebrew pictographs communicates that he will be the first leader, world leader, to have an RFID device inserted in his hand. As chapter 8 reveals, Prince Harry was I believe the first world leader to wear an RFID device in public. It should be noted that Justin Trudeau was also wearing an RFID device on the night that Prince Harry was. However, I believe that Harry would have worn his first given that he is the patron of the Invictus Games. The pictograph, therefore, will have a dual prophetic fulfilment, one for the RFID wristband and secondly for the glass capsule the size of a grain of rice being inserted into his right hand via a hypodermic needle. The other thing that is of interest in regard to the spelling of Harry in Hebrew other than the pictograph, and that detailed on page 61, is the following. 1 Samuel chapter 17 verse 34 And David said unto Saul, Thy servant kept his father's sheep, and there came a lion and a bear, and took a lamb out of the flock. The Hebrew spelling for lion in this scripture is the same spelling for Harry in Hebrew, that is, hay, aleph, reish, and yud. Harry therefore means the lion in Hebrew. Now consider the following scripture. 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8 Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking whom he may devour. Amazing! The standard spelling for lion in Hebrew is Aleph, Reish, and Yud. Refer to Strong's 738. Remember that Hay means behold, or lo, or the. So with that added to the front of lion, we have the lion. Not just any lion, but the lion, as in the devil, our adversary. It should be noted that Satan's name in Hebrew means adversary. Refer to Strong's 7853. <laughs> Chapter 13 Spans of Time and Factors There are two interesting spans of time that have meaningful factors other than those already discussed on page 95 and page 129. The numbers are 25,272 and 36,234. The number 25,272 has the factors 3 times 3 times 13 times 6 times 6 times 6. The number 36,234 has the factors 33 times 33 times 33 parentheses plus parentheses 33 times 3 times 3. And as well, the number 36,234 has the factors 66 times 66 times 6 parentheses plus parentheses 66 times 153. The number 25,272 is the number of days from Pentecost 1948 until the 24th of July 2017 when Israel's security cabinet inferred control of the Temple Mount via an official statement regarding security cameras. It should also be noted that Pentecost 1948, which was from the evening of the 15th to the evening of the 16th of May, was exactly 333 days inclusive before the first blood moon tetrad in the 1949 and 1950 series. It should also be noted that the 24th of July 2017 was exactly 666 days inclusive after the last blood moon tetrad 
in the 2014 and 2015 series. Pentecost 1948 was the first full biblical day after the mandate for Palestine ended at midnight on the 14th of May. It is believed that Israel became born again on this former date since it was Pentecost 1454 BC that Israel was first born as described in the events seen in Exodus chapter 19. It is believed that Israel's new statehood on Pentecost 1948 was a fulfillment of scripture. Isaiah chapter 66 verse 8 Who hath heard such a thing? Who hath seen such things? Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Or shall a nation be born at once? For as soon as Zion travailed, she brought forth her children. The arrangement of the factors for the number 25,272 is not accidental since it almost reflects the 333 days and 666 days previously noted. The factors once again are 3 times 3 times 13 times 6 times 6 times 6. Let me say that again in a different way. From Pentecost 1948 until the 13th of April 1949 is 333 days. From the 28th of September 2015 until the 24th of July 2017 is 666 days. From Pentecost 1948 until the 24th of July 2017 is 25,272 days, which has the factors 3 times 3 times 13 times 6 times 6 times 6 that almost mirror the numbers 333 and 666 previously noted. The interesting thing here is that the number 13 is almost a transitional number since it is composed of the perfect number 7 and the imperfect number 6. We then can see that the time reflects a transition in Israel's affairs from perfect to less than perfect. And indeed, as spoken of on page 29, the woman seen fleeing into the wilderness in Revelation chapter 12 is going to morph into the corrupted woman seen in the wilderness in Revelation chapter 17. It should be noted that the 1949-1950 tetrad represents Israel reclaiming their land and that the 1967-1968 tetrad represents Israel reclaiming their city, that is Jerusalem, and that the 2014-2015 tetrad represents Israel reclaiming the Temple Mount in preparation for the third temple in which the Antichrist sits. See 2 Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 4. It is this 2014-2015 tetrad that therefore has negative connotations in respect to where the nation of Israel is headed. In other words, the 2014-2015 tetrad is marked by the number 666 because of the nearness of the first beast seen in Revelation chapter 13. It is the 1949-1950 tetrad that has positive connotations in respect to where the nation of Israel was headed. In other words, the 1949-1950 tetrad is marked by the number 333 because of the nearness to Pentecost 1948 and God's hand with fulfilling Isaiah chapter 66 verse 8. The Trinity, that is the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, is reflected in the number 333. It should be noted that the three blood moon tetrads fall on the feasts of Passover and Tabernacles, which occur when the moon is full. It is when the moon is full that a lunar eclipse can occur, which is why the tetrads are referred to as blood moons, since the moon turns a red-orange colour. Please refer to page 150 in the e-book for more details in regards to this. Jesus' comments in the following scripture are therefore particularly pertinent. Matthew chapter 24 verses 32 to 35 Now learn a parable of the fig tree, when his branch is yet tender and putteth forth leaves. Ye know that summer is nigh. So likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the doors. Verily I say unto you, 
This generation shall not pass till all these things be fulfilled. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. The fig tree is believed to be Israel, as per the following scriptures. Hosea chapter 9 verse 10 I found Israel like grapes in the wilderness. I saw your fathers as the first ripe in the fig tree at her first time. But they went to Baal Peor and separated themselves unto that shame, and their abominations were according as they loved. Jeremiah chapter 24 verse 5 Thus saith the Lord, the God of Israel, Like these good figs, so will I acknowledge them that are carried away captive of Judah, whom I have sent out of this place into the land of the Chaldeans for their good. The generation spoken of in Matthew chapter 24 verse 34 is believed to have started in 1948 when Israel became a nation and to end on Yom Kippur 2024 which is 76 years later and 77 biblical years later if 360 day years are used. This is particularly interesting in respect to the following scripture documented by Moses. Psalm chapter 90 verses 1 and 10 Lord, thou hast been our dwelling place in all generations. The days of our years are threescore years and ten, and if by reason of strength they be fourscore years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off, and we fly away. This scripture is saying that a generation is between seventy and eighty years. It should be noted that a score is equal to 20 years and that the rapture is in the midst of this as hinted at by the terms we fly away. It should be noted that from Pentecost 1948 until Yom Teruah 2017 is 70 biblical years and 131 days. Please refer to page 152 of the ebook for more details. Now to move on to the number 36,234. If you remember, it had the following factors. 36,234 can be expressed as 33 times 33 times 33, parentheses, plus, parentheses, 33 times 3 times 3. 36,234 can also be expressed as 66 times 66 times 6 parentheses plus parentheses 66 times 153 if my prospective viewer is north american no doubt you have heard about the great american eclipse of 2017 you may have not heard however of the next most significant eclipse that preceded that one in 1918 some people at the time made various connections between the eclipse of 2017 and the number 33. For example, the eclipse began in the 33rd state, known as Oregon, and exited at the 33rd parallel near South Carolina. From the 21st of August 2017, when the eclipse occurred, until Yom Teruah 2017, which was the 22nd of September 2017, there was 33 days inclusive. The 21st of August was the 233rd day of the year and occurs during the 33rd week of the year. There is another eclipse on the 8th of April 2024 that along with the 2017 eclipse forms a cross across the USA. In the USA there are 42 towns named after Jerusalem's original name, Salem. Five of the Salems are on the 2017 path, with three just outside it, and eight Salems are on the 2024 path, with six just outside it. Twenty of the Salems are way outside both the 2017 and 2024 paths. The interesting thing here is that at the very crossroad of both the 2017 and 2024 paths, there is a road exactly 33 metres away named Salem. Note this is measured to the closest point the road is to the 2017-2024 eclipse cross path. That is now six times the number 33 has arisen, but that is not all. 
From 1918 until 2017, there is 99 years, which is 3 times 33. That is now 7 times that 33 has been mentioned. From the 1918 eclipse until the 2017 eclipse, there is exactly 36,234 days, which is where we get the factors 33 times 33 times 33 plus 33 times 3 times 3. That is now 11 times that the number 33 has occurred. It should be noted that the 1918 eclipse occurred at 1700 hours and 22 minutes on the 8th of June in Denver, which was the largest city to see totality, and the 2017 eclipse occurred at 1300 hours and 26 minutes on the 21st of August in Salem, Kentucky, which was 60 kilometers northwest of the greatest eclipse point. Between these two times noted, there is 36,234 whole days, less 4 hours. It should be noted that because we have a time of day for both the start and the end date, we do not need to be inclusive with the count, which means we do not include both the start and the end date. We only include the start date or the end date, not both, when we make our count between dates. The twelfth time 33 occurs in this arrangement is with Prince Harry's birthday that was on the 15th of September 2017, one week before Yom Teruah 2017. That is correct, Prince Harry was 33 years old in this year. That is amazing. There are two reasons Harry should be included with the list of 33s. The first reason is the factors that involve the number 6, namely... 36,234 equals 66 times 66 times 6 parentheses plus parentheses 66 times 153. The second reason is the numbers 36 and 234 that compose the number 36,234. If you remember, these two numbers are Dramatra values that reference Harry's name. Using ordinal Hebrew Dramatra, Harry equals 36, which has the factors 6 times 6. And using ordinal English Dramatra, the number 234 equals Harry or Henry Charles Albert David. The number 234 has the factors 6 times 39, which are both imperfect numbers. It can also be represented by the following. 6 times 6 times 6 parentheses plus, parentheses, 6 plus 6 plus 6. I would also like to remind you that 234 plus its mirror, 432, equals 666. Please refer to page 155 in the e-book for more details. Chapter 14. Antichrist, Look to Harry. Second John chapter 1 verses 6 to 8 And this is love, that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment, that as ye have heard from the beginning, ye should walk in it. For many deceivers are entered into the world, who confess not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh. This is a deceiver and an antichrist. Look to yourselves, that we lose not those things which we have wrought, but that we receive a full reward. Using this text, the phrase, Antichrist look to Harry, emerges. Here is another graphic that demonstrates, using the same text, that Antichrist look to Harry is embedded within the scripture. As already mentioned, we have the following calculations using this term. Using base 6 English Dramatra, Antichrist look to Harry, as well as Antichrist look to Henry, equals 1674, which is a highly saturated number when it comes to the number 6. Using standard Hebrew Dramatra, Antichrist look to Harry, equals 666. Using Latin Dramatra, 108 equals Antichrist look to Harry, it also equals Harry Charles Albert David 
as well as Henry Charles Albert David and the number in words 361. It should be noted that using standard Hebrew Dramatra, Prince Harry equals 361. 361 is the square of the imperfect number 19. It is therefore a concentrated version of that number. Using ordinal English Dramatra, Antichrist looked to Harry equals 279, and using Latin Dramatra, it equals 108. If we add these numbers together, we get 387, which is the same value for King of Israel using standard English Dramatra. Using standard English Dramatra, Antichrist looked to Harry equals 1989. If you recall, stigma is the Greek letter that represents the number 6. Using standard English Dramatra, stigma, stigma, stigma equals 1071. And using ordinal English Dramatra, it equals 207. And using Jewish Old English Dramatra, it equals 711. If we total these numbers together, we get 1989. Using ordinal English Dramatra, stigma, stigma, stigma equals 207. And using Latin Dramatra, it equals 72. If we add these numbers together, we get 279, which is the value using ordinal English Dramatra for Antichrist look to Harry. Also equaling 1989 is the following calculation. Using standard English Dramatra, first beast of Revelation equals 1629. And using ordinal English Dramatra, it equals 261. And using Latin Dramatra, it equals 99. If we add these numbers together, we get 1989, which is the standard English Dramatra value for Antichrist look to Harry. Using standard English Dramatra, Antichrist look to Harry equals 1989. And using ordinal English Dramatra, it equals 279. And using Jewish Old English Dramatra, it equals 1289. And using Base 6 English Dramatra, it equals 1674. And using Standard English Dramatra Binary, it equals 1289. And using Latin Dramatra, it equals 108. And using Cardinal Ordinal English Dramatra, it equals 1530. If we total these numbers together, we get 8158. Also equaling 8158 is the following calculation. Using standard English Dramatra, Chi, Xi, Stigma equals 986. And using ordinal English Dramatra, it equals 122. And using cardinal standard English Dramatra, it equals 6261. And using cardinal ordinal English Dramatra, it equals 789. If we add these numbers together, we get 8158. Using standard English Dramatra, Antichrist look to Harry equals 1989. And using Latin Dramatra, it equals 108. If we add these numbers together, we get 2097. Also equaling 2097 is the following calculation. Using standard English Dramatra, Prince Henry equals 1080. And using ordinal English Dramatra, it equals 135. And using base 6 English Dramatra, it equals 810. And using Latin Dramatra, it equals 72. If we add these numbers together, we get 2097. Also equaling 2097 is the following calculation. Using standard English Dramatra, Little Horn equals 682. And using ordinal English Dramatra, it equals 133. And using Jewish Old English Dramatra, it equals 432. And using Base 6 English Dramatra, it equals 798. And using Latin Dramatra, it equals 52. If we add these numbers together, we get 2097. The following calculation also equals 2097. Using Standard English Dramatra, Invictus Toronto equals 1791. And using Ordinal English Dramatra, it equals 234. And using Latin Dramatra, it equals 72. If we add these numbers together, we get 2097. 
the following calculation also equals 2097. Using standard English Dramatra, Prince Henry of Wales equals 1782. And using ordinal English Dramatra, it equals 216. And using Latin Dramatra, it equals 99. If we add these numbers together, we get 2097. It should be noted that if we remove the value for Latin Dramatra, that is 99, from this calculation, we get 1998. 1998 has the factors 666 times 3. Using standard English Dramatra, Antichrist looked to Harry equals 1989. And using ordinal English Dramatra, it equals 279. And using Latin Dramatra, it equals 108. If we add those numbers together, we get 2,376. Using Cardinal Ordinal English Dramatra, United Nation Covenant with Many also equals 2,376. Using Ordinal English Dramatra, the Antichrist is Prince Harry equals 317 as well as the Antichrist is Prince Henry, as well as Harry Mountbatten Windsor, as well as Henry Mountbatten Windsor. Using Latin Dramatra, the Antichrist is Prince Harry, and the Antichrist is Prince Henry, both equal 146. Also equaling that number is Prince Harry Charles Albert David, as well as Prince Henry Charles Albert David as well as His Royal Highness the Duke of Sussex, all using Latin Dramatra. This is amazing. Using Ordinal English Dramatra, Harry Charles Albert David Wales equals 294, as well as Henry Charles Albert David Wales, as well as the number in words 666 as well as the number in words 600, 3 score, 6. 294 has the factors 6 times 49. Using Latin Dramatra, Antichrist equals 49. And using Ordinal Hebrew Dramatra, Henry equals 49. If you want to know who the Antichrist is, then look to Harry. The Antichrist and a glass of wine.